being B-Bats. But um, there isn't really, like, aside from Triff, there isn't, like, a top, 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 like, top, beach. top, top, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Malachi as well, rounding out the top 50. There's, yeah. there's like, what is it, six or seven peaches? That's yeah. a lot, actually. Well, I'm, I'm wrong about that. But the thing, th what I'm trying to say is, like, well, it's kind of similar to, like, Falco, where, like, you could say, there's tons of Falcos, go on and rank, you're going to yeah. see a million of them. But, like, at a very, very high level, despite being a fantastic character, despite being a popular character, you don't really see that that much. Guys, but, uh, why did Aura start Stadium? <laughs> Chain grab uh, stuff, maybe? I don't no, know. Like, that's, that's, wait, that's, that's insane. Yeah, like, that, that one I'm not too sure. This is like conventionally <laughs> Peach's worst stage in the matchup. I mean, that could be the motivation right there, right? Like, you try to get get rid of it. You get rid of it. This, maybe, this could be yeah. the SFAT school of counterpicking, man. Like, versus Mewtwo King. Yeah. Yeah. This stage specifically. Jay Danger. Jay, just Danger. Just Danger, hello. Uh, I'm the organ resident here. Give so, us the lore. Yeah, Derek Aura, he, uh, he loves this matchup. Why, do you know why Stadium first? That's what we're kind okay, of wrapping yeah. our brain about So, here. Uh, Derek, you know kind of like how SFAT used to go to FD? It is with, this. Okay. Yeah, no, it yeah. is right. yeah. okay. that. No, like he knows that game. this is the worst stage in the okay. match. Okay. I mean, he just doesn't want to, like, lose the momentum later, which is why he hops on for Stadium okay. first. Okay, that's kind of beast, actually. Yeah, no. So, does that, like, work? I feel like it didn't really work uh, that beat, well for SFAT. It like, beat Josh, man. It beat Zamu like three times. You're saying this year. with Aura. Yeah. With Aura. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Very good Fox. Yeah, yeah. Aura's yeah. being a bunch of Foxes. And, oh, he, and he does it every time. Back. Aura's up 5 0 on Zamu this year. Yeah, he's up a lot on Zamu. I mean, he beat Josh in a Carnival Clash, obviously. Fiction. Like, Fiction, too. Yeah, yeah. No, he, he's definitely doing very good with A lot of like intruders coming to the Pacific Northwest yeah. and just losing. No, Aura yeah. And they all come yeah. to Aura and, and the Oregon crowd. Up, yeah. The Oregon crowd gets loud. Yeah. We, we, we get crazy for that. That's so funny. We can't sleep on Henry. I mean, I was getting Oh, for sure. But, uh, uh, oh, what an uptilt. One of his main practice partners is maybe the NJ yep. Peach, who's basically guaranteed top 100. Right. And, uh, you know, in Georgia, they call lowercase hero the Black Leffin. <laughs> they do They do call him that. I've heard that myself, too. Yeah. So, can't sleep on him. But, yeah, uh, I think a big thing I'm going to be looking for from Derek in this matchup is his edge guards. His edge guarding is unreal. It feels insane. Every time I watch him edge guard, he's, like, finding Another? these, like, routes that Doesn't go to grab it, though. I can't believe. Yeah, it's, it's funny to me because so like I interviewed Lob years ago for a Peach video that I was working on. And back then, he was like, I feel like all the Peaches are really, really good at different things. Right. right. Like, Lod was really good at neutral. Trip was incredibly good at punish. Uh, like, whoever else, right? But there was never that moment where, like, all of the Peach knowledge amalgamated yeah. into one. Yeah. Um, so that's why so many people were like, the Peach players are a psyop because they just they just send one per tournament. Many people tournament. are saying this. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. Well, because they just send one per tournament, and then you never get to you never get to practice against like the Lod. And right, I'm like, wow, I right, really practice right. against Trip, and now Lod's just gonna sit here on the other side of the stage <laughs> the entire time. That last stock interaction was so. I'm sorry, that last stock interaction was so crazy. Or red lowercase hero's roll, and then lowercase hero had so much discipline and waited and got the raw up smash. That yeah. was crazy. Yeah, um, that's something that maybe told me because uh, he I was talking this morning and he said the lowercase hero's discipline is one of the two biggest threats he has against Peach and how he's wait, uh, willing to wait out Peach play the laser game play the platforms and then right. make Peach approach that, that's a big thing I think Derek is like really insane at is like when he's in his advantage state he's not like oh he's not eager mm -hmm. he's very willing to like let it marinate and like find the best possible opening for the situation and then extending it as far as possible and that's also kind of what Henry wants like he right. wants to make Peach a little bit antsy yeah yeah I would say that we saw that from Aura yesterday in the way he was playing like very yep, kind of sure. particular very uh, looking for certain spots um, all right, this is tricky though. Oh, oh my god! Oh. Even the stage didn't want him to win. Wow, I was just talking to Henry about stage bikes too. <laughs> that feels you manifested like a, like a yeah. cool <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm not gonna uh, admit maybe any he did, maybe he didn't. No, you know, hey, like... look, if Derek wins, it's it's great for Oregon. That's all I'll say. <laughs> yeah, stocks are up. For yeah, now. for we sure, for sure. Good. Is the Dragon Warrior going back to Pokemon Stadium? For those who don't know, Dragon Warrior. Is, also is lowercase hero. Yeah. A man of many names, Black Leffen. <laughs> you know, no, Dragon he, Warrior. He's a story. Henry Moser 9, like he's a he's a storied <laughs> individual. Yeah. yeah. Back to the stadium. This is the this is the strongest thing about the stadium counter pick to me. It's like Derek wins on the stage anyway, just because he like outplays you in some spots. And then you want to go back and like right. Derek has all the momentum now. Right. Like a psychological yeah, yeah. at that yeah. point, right? Like, do I even really want to go back to this exactly. I just lost. But you know, yeah. Sbat is at home watching with tears in his eyes. <laughs> yeah. He's like, he's like, I knew it was true, but I just, yeah. I, I could yeah. never show you. He was too far ahead of me. He was, time. he was, man. You Instead, know. Instead, now he just lifts heavy weights. Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, I played Derek in a tournament a bunch of times in this matchup, and every time we play on stadium three times, I'm like, man, this is this is <laughs> like, awful. I got a feeling the stage sucks. <laughs> like, I don't yeah, think I want to yeah, play. Yeah, like, like I start lying to myself yeah. mentally. At like. the risk of beating a, a dead horse of a joke, that is what Aura wants, it sounds like. Going yeah. back to the stadium, like, I literally think there is something to that about Melee where, like, do not give your opponent what they want. And even if it seems counterintuitive to some degree, like, Ooh. it feels like if that's, like, what the match is looking like, three yeah. stadium things in a row, that right, is, right. That, I don't know, like, that feels like that's the comfort zone for Aura. The, yeah. That low percent up tilt oh. that uh, Henry did uh, in the last stock that got him 42%, like, up tilt, and then try and go for another one, uh, that's the other thing that Kilmer told me that Henry's really good at in this matchup, is utilizing up tilt both as a combo extender, like doing the wave shine uh, turn around up tilt uh, into upper or back air, right, or right. doing an up tilt in neutral, trying to read Peach going for a dash in, or- Yo! Oh, nice. Oh, crazy. if only, imagine. That yeah. diligence on Yeah, a, a big thing for Derek, he loves sitting in the corner and shield. Yeah. I mean, Stiv is always calling him the shield grab master. He's the best at it, like <laughs> of anybody. He finds these shield grabs that are unreal. So like Henry just calling that out with the grab on game two is like so, so good for his uh, optics and the rest of the set. Great trade. And look at this patience. The dash just went for the up smash, but did not work out. Or is ready. We're seeing like a classic Peach interaction where the where the player is like, I got to kill Peach somehow. Yep. I, I, I got to I gotta get the setup somehow. Maybe go for an up smash. And Peach is like, I'm, I'm sorry. This is exactly the plan. Like, I will just stay alive longer and longer. That's not going to kill either. Right. And you have to somehow not get frustrated in these moments, but Easier said than done. That you know, like Henry's yeah. like, oh my god, now I'm being grabbed. Like, it, yeah, that's where Aura thrives to me. It's like his this ability. Is thriving, to, yeah, like, his ability to like take situations like that and just make it worse and worse and oh. worse. And you just feel nice. so bad. Did I and not call you're this? Like, this yeah. is literally no. like. And like this is on stadium. This is Fox's best stage, like without question. No, it's right? not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> the bed is shifting in front of our we've, eyes. I've just, we've I, thought wrong for I'm, years. I'm imagining a, a player in the therapist chair being like, "You have to understand. Uh, you play Peach, and then somehow she doesn't die. And then like I just emotionally can't handle it. Like the amount of people who just know way too much about the melee scene because of uh, too many therapy sessions. Yeah, I, I think yeah. what's hard also for a player like like Henry, I feel like he's a very studied fox as right. well. Beautiful call you, out. you see like your options just slowly start to fade yeah, away over yeah. time. You're like, well, how can I kill now? Like, wave shine up smash, it's starting to get away from me. Weak hit air is starting to get away yeah, from me. Yeah, your mental like, stack is overloaded. Yeah. It's so it's like, hard to like find. Yeah, oh, that dash no, trades like crazy. that. It, it, if we go back to so stadium, I'm gonna. Do not stadium. go back that, to stadium. Hey, I mean, go you know, back to stadium. I'm sure. I'm sure uh, Kepler is sitting at home right now, delighted oh, to see God. that happening. Yeah. We need like a like I, a make I some noise. I swear to God, I can see it on the other <laughs> the angel the and devil telling it. you to go back. to <laughs> Like, hey man, the devil and the angel <laughs> hey, on your shoulder. Go back to stadium, bro. You know when people like buy like a That'll stock that is like really doing poorly, and then they're like, I'm gonna buy more. I'm gonna buy the dip. You know, like it's better. The the sunk cost stuff, but. We're, ba we're Battlefield now. Yeah. We're, yeah, so we're, this we're is Henry's new man, you know. Oh, something I, uh, I really liked about Aura the last game, during the last stock when uh, Henry was at zero, he's very cognizant of the percents. So he was going for a Peach, like, fair. The only move that knocks down Fox at zero. And then yep. once he got Fox out of zero, he started spamming, uh, like, short out up air, or float, uh, float up air. Yeah. Uh, to try to get, uh, what is it, like Fox into a situation where he can get narrowed off stage Ooh. or back here and get build more percent. Yeah, he does a lot of those like like subflood up airs that you can like you can like ACI down during it. And so like if you try to hit him wrong at all, you're just getting reversal. Then it's a nightmare. Kind of one of the first early stock, I mean, not even that early, but like under a hundred stocks. Yeah, yeah. This set. Um, Red, are you can say it. it. It's the stage. <laughs> There's the other. It's the stage. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, read see, two it's, it's reads like that, right? Like that, oh, that's really that's... what defines Derek to me. Okay. I really like Henry's use of the platforms, though. Mm -hmm. okay. I think what gets dicey about this too is like lowercase looks pretty good right now. Probably loses the stock close to here. Yeah. Um, but or at least in a little bit. But lowercase takes this game. Yeah. And then what? It's two FDs it's, after that. Yeah. That's so, the thing, right? And like. Even if you win oh. an FD, it's just like, Whoa. I don't know. It, it's rough. Yeah. Early kill. It's rough. Yeah, that was a good up air. I think Peach wins. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> that's what Derek thinks, too. <laughs> oh, actually. He, he thinks, does he, he actually I was think being, that? I was he being Peach ironic. Peach destroys the <laughs> yeah. Or is, like, very confident that Peach, like, oh, really? destroys oh, yeah, spaces. Like, Fox and especially Falco. 
Or has gotten so really? much off of beating yeah. Lord yeah, of Yeah, Derek Jones. loves this matchup. Easy. This is his comfort pick for sure, Fox is. I'm a big believer in that, like, you kind of have to think that way yeah. to do well. Yeah. I was actually talking to Aklo about this, and Aklo's like, no, I don't think that way. Like, I'll play a match <laughs> and be like, Link sucks, you know? Like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, really? Like, yeah. he's like, yeah, like, it's fine. Like, I, I don't know who cares? Aura's tech changes are crazy. Yep. Like, you yep. just got to re off the dash attack. And he's trying so hard to continue reading uh, Henry's jumps, and now Henry's playing yeah. more grounded. He, and that's he, exactly what he wants. He sets up so many jump reads and stuff. Like, he, he just, he overloads your metal stack so hard. I keep saying this, but, like, it really is true. It's it's so hard to, like, nice. think about what you want to do versus this guy, especially when he's hitting fairs like that. Like, you're just exploding off any hit, and it's it, it feels impossible to get in, and it feels like you're drowning, is how I'd best describe it. Yeah. You just sit on the top platform waiting, though. Yeah, that, that's where you got to. That feels like such a huge like oh, change in tempo from what Lowercase was doing earlier, right? Like right. I feel like Lowercase was outplaying Aura at the beginning of this game, right? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. That's, that's out of okay. That, that's out. big. That's big. Yeah, yeah. I feel like this is the problem though is that like a lot of like uh, Henry's uh, Lowercase heroes uh, stocks have been these kind of like callouts, right. which is good. That's like important in the set, but we haven't seen a lot of like ah yes, just a straight ahead. Simple punish, yeah. bread wave butter. You, yeah, can't, you can't build a home off that foundation. No, right? yeah, <laughs> like it's like... It's a home made of hay. Yeah, it's rickety. And, and the big bad wolf, oh. Derek, oh, is coming down. Install. It's oh. over, though. Derek yeah, doesn't. Is, that's a 3-0 for Derek. That Oregon looks, is delighted. I'm that, so happy right now. That looks dominant. Yeah. <laughs> the West is back. <laughs> the West has risen. The Midwest has fallen. The West has risen. Yeah, yeah. All right, 3-0 yeah. for Aura, looking yeah, good. I mean, that, that's what I wanted to see from Aura coming into this tournament, is him in that Fox matchup, because it really is like his big comfort pick, mm -hmm. and he's been doing great at it at tournaments this year. So. I think Aura's, uh, his DI off stage and his positioning made it so hard for Henry to go for Shine Spikes. Like, he was trying to go for the Shine Spike when he got Stage Spike there, but the entire set, he did not get a single Shine Spike on Aura, and that's also something that he's very good at and was, wasn't able to capitalize on. He just didn't get many shines, period. Like, there, no. there were not a lot of, like, we didn't see many wave shine punishes. Part of that's probably, like, the way he approaches the matchup. Sure. But I don't know. Like, we weren't seeing these kind of, like, 30 to 40% combos that kind of, when Peach is doing poorly, uh, really kind of dictate the matchup of, like, ah, oh, took a hit there, took a hit there, and then the easy kill confirms that Fox has kind of go for crazy mileage. But man himself. Hello. Tell us Hello? a bit about what happened there. Um, I think Henry was playing... Pretty nervous, honestly. Okay. I could just like tell, just based off the first stock, whenever he got like the hundred percent, just like the way that he was like moving and like positioning himself, mm. he felt really uncomfortable. And like he was up, I think like ninety percent, and I don't even know if I got a hit at that point. So pretty much right then and there, I was like, okay, well since he's like playing a lot more nervous, this like made me a lot more confident, even though I was down. Yeah. Just because Peach can live for so long, and like you know, I just need like one opening. Like I can make up ninety percent off like one opening. Yeah. Right. Do you do you think that for a player read against you, players are going to stop going back to stadium now in game two if you win? Um, No, I still think it's like Fox's best stage. Yeah. I know that some Peaches, like Ryan, like Wally, thinks that it's Battlefield. I think stadium's like uh, Fox's best stage still. Mm -hmm. But I play on it so much. Like, I imagine Jay yeah, yeah, uh, we were talking about yeah. that, um, that uh, I always start on Stadium versus Fox, and it just over the years because the PNW was the first region to actually do Frozen Stadium, mm, and yeah, so true. I, um, I just decided back in like 2018 that I was just like, well, we should just start on my worst stage. And over the course of the years, I think it's like become one of my best stages. Like in terms of just like me personally, even though I don't think it's like Peach's best stage, mm -hmm. I just play on it so often that I'm a lot more comfortable versus Fox than a lot of the Foxes are versus me. I feel. That's like yeah. definitely very good as a spacey. I like hate to hear it, but as a fan of the game, I, I like to hear it. I hate to hear it too. Yeah, like, <laughs> I don't know where to go over to you, man. Again, it's like that that feeling of like there are no good stages is definitely a, there are only you get yeah, defeated at the all at, nightmare before all the, the match starts. I feel like there's floaty players who are sometimes defeatist about it, or like there are people who play against Jigglypuff and it's like oh Dreamlands and Auto Lose, whatever. But like you've taken a stage which is conventionally the worst counter pick. Uh, in Fox Peach and made it your home. Yeah, yeah. I, I also do like that there's no top plat, just because a lot of the yeah. times whenever Foxes get nervous, they're just like, oh, let's just chill for a second. Yeah, Henry was Fox getting a lot out of that, that on Battlefield. He was getting a lot of mileage out of like Yeah, yeah. He would just yeah. reset. I remember at one point it was like two stocks to two, I think. And then Henry just like sat on the top plat and like took like a deep breath. And like Fox can do that on those yeah. sort of stages. But like Stadium, you don't really get that luxury. Peach can kind of do it whenever like if you see in between stocks, I always just float up top. And that's just kind of my like, you know, let's like calm down, yeah. breathe. 
I don't know. That's just the way I think about it. How are you feeling about the rest of uh, the weekend? Uh, I'm pretty excited. Um, I think my, maybe my two roughest draws, I already played at this point, so yeah. I honestly have no idea who's going to pick me. I think I think Hungrybox will probably pick me. I've never played a game with Hungrybox. I'm also looking forward to it nice. if I get him. I, I really, really do hope he picks me. Are you going to play Sheik? Or no, Peach I'll go Buff? Peach the whole time. I think I'll lose, but I just want to play him. I, it pretty much, I really do just want one of like the best players to pick me. I just want to play them. So like, where, where Mango, I, down I, in the, I hope uh, Mango picks uh, me. Cody, if he wins, I just don't want Triff to pick me. <laughs> <laughs> so many games with Triff. Triff, if you're listening, don't pick me, bro. I was gonna say, where do you, where do you stand if if Hbox picks you? Like, where do you stand in the in the Peach camp of like Puff Peach as a matchup? I feel like that was oh, so I think divisive. For I think so many if you people. play for a timeout as Puff, like it's horrible for Peach, but. That's only if like Puff has the lead, sure. and so like the first stock matters a lot. Um, so I, I have some ideas if I play him, to be honest. Nice. So Hope we get it. Interesting. Okay. Excited to see it. Hope we get to see it. But yeah, good stuff so far. Thank you. Congrats. So. Fun match, but we got a bit of a video to show you guys. Uh, so I think content piece. We should uh, just uh, throw it over there for a second.